Hello everyone, I'm back with uh, another review uh, of a swamp cooler. This is my um, newest model that I've been testing lately. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely a big boy. Um, I live in an apartment, so this is a bit too big for me. So either I'm gonna return it or, um, or maybe just sell it on an um, off -rope or something. Um, so let me tell you a few things about it. So this is one of those, um, this is like for the, for the whole living room. Like I had some small ones that usually made for smaller places like bedroom or something. But this, uh, like I said, this is a big boy. It, it makes a lot of noise. Like if, if you don't like, you know, loud noise, loud fan noise, you're not gonna like this. Um, so uh, this one has uh, airflow, so 525 CFN, that's the output of air. And this, trust me, this is true to 525. Like some of them I know, like I tested some, they were 600, they, they, they do not blow half the air of this one. This one, like I, 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 when I turn it on, even at first speed, you can see how big my living room is. I can feel the air all the way to the next door. And that's just on the first speed. Um, I'll turn it on in a bit so you guys can hear how loud it is. Um, but like I said, this one uses a little bit more electricity than the other ones I tested on my channel. 288 watts. Um, the, the one before this one was using 60 and I believe the one before that one was using 80. Those were a little bit smaller models. But this one has three speeds and what I like about this one, it has like an ice cube uh, loading dock on top. But it comes, you know, it comes usually, all of them come with the same things. You know, you have three to five speeds. This one has three. Then you have the cool, cool option, which of course uses the air. And then you have timer, sleep mode, where the fan will turn on high speed, then, then it will lower speed, um, you know. Um, I'm not sure in how long, but it definitely lowers the speed. Then you have the swing, you know, swing goes left to right. Uh, pretty much simple. Comes with the remote, uses two AAA batteries. Same, same functions on the remote. Quite nice remote, much bigger than the ones I had. You're not gonna lose this. Feels good in hand. So here we are. So to, to start it up, basically when it's unplugged, you take this off, not take it off, you just, um, you know, remove it, I'll show you. Uh, a little bit tough but this is how we you know this is how it opens up so what you're gonna do you're gonna take a bucket and you know throw water in this one i believe uses five gallons it's a pretty big tank once you fill it up it's gonna be hard to move it does come with the big wheels so it's you know it's pretty easy to move if you have carpet wooden floors it's it's pretty easy I usually carry mine, but but with the water on, um, I can't carry it. It's, it's just a bit too heavy. Uh, and this is the one I hid. You have to really pop it in. And um, so this is, uh, you know, once you add the water, it's gonna show you the mark. Um, right now, I didn't wanna add too much water. I even a little bit spilled some. Um, and this is uh, another feature that I like. Uh, you have handles on both sides. So you can remove this and remove the bottom tank if you wanna clean it up. It's recommended that you do it once a week. You know, you don't want no mold or anything like that. And make sure you never use old water. So, you know, if you put in some water, you don't use it for three, four days, don't just turn it on. Take this off, empty the water, clean, clean the tank a bit. Um, and that's about it on that side. So in the back you have the you have the big filter honeycomb, I believe. This is what gets wet, and um, this is what gives you that um, cool effect once it gets wet, and then the it takes the it takes the warm air, blows it in, and then it go, the warm air goes through the honeycomb filter, and it should you know blow the cold air out of the other side. So this is, okay, so this is the ice cube feature. This one, it also takes a little bit harder to open up, but this is where you place your ice cubes. So it can fit about, I would say two trays of ice cubes, maybe like 20, depending how big they are. Uh, it should give you, I'm not sure how good it works. I mean, it blows cold air, so it's not, it's gonna, it's like I said, it's not gonna replace your AC, but uh, you know, if you know about swamp coolers, then you know what you're getting into. 
Um, so let me, you know, I plug that in. This one uses a three prone outlet. Most of the ones I test, they use is two. So make sure you have three prone outlet. Uh, you know, I don't think uh, some of those extended cables don't have three prone. So make sure you have it because this one does use 288 watts. Which is not, uh, you know, it's not, cr you're not gonna like spend a lot of uh, electricity on it. But like I said, it's it uses more because it's so big. So, okay, let me start up. So you just press the power button. And I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's it's pretty damn loud. <laughs> uh, let me... So yeah, even if you go, you know, a few feet back, you're still gonna feel a lot of, lot of air coming towards you. And that's just the first speed. Um, so you have the second one, noticeably, noticeably stronger. And then you have the final one, which is like a freaking jet engine, like no joke. I mean, this would become really handy for people who wanna, you know, leave the house for a couple hours, leave this on, you know, let, let it cool down a bit. And, um, you know come back and um, like I said this can cool the whole living room like my living room I'm not sure how many square feet it is but it can definitely cool it down um, but on this of course you gotta leave it next to the open window open balcony so it gets that a little bit of so the humid air can escape the house you know if you leave the doors uh, closed windows it's gonna make it worse so make sure you have something cranked open um, so this one has a timer. I believe this one goes up to 24 hours. Um, let me see. Okay, one, two. Oh, it's eight. I thought it was 24. Maybe that was a different model I was looking at. Um, I never. I only use it up to two hours. I, I don't leave it on for eight hours. Um, of course, this one has a swing. It goes left to right. You can feel the air, so it can cool down more. Um, wider area and of course you got the cool feature cool feature turning on and then it's gonna pump the water from the bottom uh, it's gonna take some of that um, cold air from the ice cube and it's gonna blow it on this side um, and that's about it um, do I love it uh, I do love the way it works I just don't lo love how loud it is but it does make sense because it is the big model um, so it, it's, it's um, you know, it, it depends what you need and what you need it for, like what, what kind of space you need it for and if you if you don't mind the noise. But this one, I don't believe it's louder than one of those um, window AC units or even one of those um, portable AC units because I had one of those portable AC units, it wasn't as loud. So I'm just going to turn it off um, so I can, you know, so I can talk. But you definitely feel the cold air coming from it. Um, this one retails, I believe retail is 300 and it's on sale on Amazon for $233, something like that. that I believe that's how much I paid. Um, they also have them on Home, Home Depot. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big, big AC. It, it, it's not gonna take a lot of room because it is big, but you can definitely put it like next to a window, um, next to a, you know, it's, but depends how much, like I said, it, it's for big rooms. It's not, it's not just for small bedroom. Um, so that's about it, that's my review. Um, let me know if you guys want, want me to do any other reviews. I have a couple other uh, swamp coolers coming in that I'm gonna test um, throughout the next week or two. So I'll, I'll post my review, but um, I'll make sure I post the model number of this and uh, link to Amazon in case um, somebody wants to buy it if they, you know, if they like what they see. But I do love this model, um, uh, what it offers and the uh, easiness to use, it's very nice. It's easy to move, has big cast reveals, has a big tank. Uh, like I said, I believe five gallons, which is a lot of water and it's gonna last I would say at least 24 hours if you fill it up full um, What I usually do I don't run the pump all the time So I would run it maybe an hour then I would turn off the pump like turn off the cool feature 
because the filter is gonna be still wet, so it's still gonna give you cold uh, breeze coming out of it. So you can, you know, give a pump a rest and then turn it on in another 30 minutes or so. Don't run the pump like all the time because you might, you know, burn out the pump and just, you know, this way it's gonna last you long longer. And also it has, like I didn't mention, on the side, it has handles, so you can pick it up, carry it. Without the water, it's not heavy. It's, I believe it's 24 pounds without the water. But if you put in, you know, five gallons, and it's, you know, it's gonna make it 50 pounds or something like that. So that's my review of Honeywell. Big model, indoor. Uh, I'll put a model in the description link. And uh, let me know if you guys like the video and if you want me to do any other ones. Thanks so much for watching.